your satellites and the phones will then handshake very well to achieve high bandwidth connectivity. But the, the net effect is that you should be able to watch uh, videos uh, anywhere on your phone. For years, whispers of a Tesla-branded smartphone have circulated through tech forums and social media. Elon Musk himself has teased the idea more than once. Guys, Tesla Pi phone, the future is here. This isn't just a phone, it's a revolution. Um, it, it connects directly to Starlink, so your internet never stops. Powerful, smart, solar, the future is already in your hand. Suggesting that if app stores ever threaten software freedom, he'd build an alternative. Now, in 2025, those whispers are louder than ever. Alleged leaks, regulatory filings, and strategic moves by Tesla suggest this might not be just another internet rumor. So what's actually going on? Well, I guess on their phones, <laughs> or, or, or watching a movie, uh, or doing work, or whatever you want to do. One, the rumor that won't die. The Tesla phone rumor has been around for years, popping up every few months with new alleged renders, leaked specs, and cryptic tweets. Unlike most tech rumors that fade away, this one keeps coming back stronger. Part of the reason is Elon Musk's own words. He's publicly stated that if platforms like iOS or Android ever remove apps like X from their stores, he would have no choice but to make a phone. Guys, the Tesla Pi phone is reportedly coming soon, and it might arrive at a surprisingly affordable price. That's not a vague hint. That's a direct threat to the duopoly. And Musk has a history of following through on threats that sound impossible. Remember when people laughed at the idea of reusable rockets? Or a private company sending astronauts to space? Tesla itself was a joke to the auto industry until it forced every major manufacturer to pivot toward electric. So when Musk talks about making a phone, people listen. The rumor refuses to die because it's grounded in precedent. Tesla has repeatedly entered industries dominated by giants and won. Why would smartphones be any different? 2. Why Elon would actually do it Elon Musk doesn't just build products for profit. He builds them to prove points and disrupt entrenched systems. A Tesla phone fits perfectly into that philosophy. First, there's the control issue. Apple and Google control the mobile operating system market almost entirely. They decide which apps will ever die. For someone like Musk, who owns a social media platform and pushes controversial ideas, that's a vulnerability. If Apple decided tomorrow to pull X from the App Store, millions of users would lose access instantly. A Tesla phone eliminates that risk. Second, there's vertical integration. Tesla already makes cars, batteries, solar panels, and satellites. Adding a phone to that ecosystem isn't a wild leap, it's a natural extension. Imagine a phone that controls your Tesla, powers itself with Tesla solar tech, and connects anywhere on Earth via Starlink. That's not science fiction, that's just connecting existing products. Third, Musk loves a challenge. He thrives on doing what critics say is impossible. The smartphone market is mature and saturated, which makes it the perfect target. If Tesla can carve out even a small percentage of the market, it would validate Musk's approach once again, and it would terrify Apple and Google. 3. What we know from the leaks In early 2026, alleged documents surfaced online showing regulatory filings for a mobile device under Tesla's name. These weren't just fan-made mock-ups. They included technical specifications, antenna configurations, and references to satellite communication hardware. The filing suggested a device capable of connecting to both traditional cell towers and low Earth orbit satellites. That's a massive departure from current smartphones. Most phones rely entirely on ground-based infrastructure. A Tesla phone with Starlink integration would work anywhere. No signal? No problem. The satellite kicks in. Other details from the leaks mentioned a custom battery system inspired by Tesla's energy division. Instead of the typical lithium-ion cells found in most phones, this device would reportedly use a more efficient design with faster charging and longer lifespan. Some leaks even hinted at solar charging capabilities built into the back panel. Of course, leaks can be faked, but the level of detail combined with Tesla's existing technology makes these claims plausible. Tesla has the engineering talent, the supply chain, and the motivation. The question isn't whether they could build this, it's whether they will. 4. Starlink Integration the game changer. This is where things get really interesting. 
Starlink is SpaceX's satellite internet service with thousands of satellites already in orbit. It provides high-speed internet to remote areas where traditional infrastructure doesn't exist. Now imagine that same technology in your pocket. A Tesla phone with Starlink wouldn't need cell towers. You could make calls, send messages, and stream data from the middle of the ocean or the top of a mountain. That's not just convenient, it's revolutionary. Current satellite phones exist, but they're bulky, expensive, and slow. Starlink is different. It's fast, relatively affordable, and already proven. Integrating it into a smartphone would eliminate the single biggest limitation of mobile devices, coverage. Telecom companies spend billions building towers and maintaining networks. Tesla could bypass all of that. And because Starlink is global, a Tesla phone would work the same in New York, rural Africa, or Antarctica. For travelers, remote workers, and anyone living outside urban centers, this would be a game changer. It would also put immense pressure on carriers like Verizon and AT&T, whose entire business model depends on infrastructure. If Tesla offers truly global coverage without a traditional carrier, the telecom industry would have to adapt or die. 5. Tesla Ecosystem Lock-In Apple mastered the art of ecosystem lock-in. Once you own an iPhone, an Apple Watch, AirPods, and a MacBook, leaving the ecosystem feels impossible. Everything works together seamlessly. Tesla would use the same strategy. A Tesla phone wouldn't just be a phone, it would be the control center for your entire Tesla life. Unlock your car, adjust climate settings, monitor battery levels, and summon your vehicle, all without opening an app. The phone would communicate directly with the car's systems. Pair that with Tesla's energy products, and you've got a device that integrates with your home solar panels and power wall battery. Check energy usage, control charging schedules, and optimize power consumption, all from one device. Add Starlink for connectivity, and suddenly you're living entirely within Tesla's ecosystem. And just like Apple, once you're in, leaving becomes harder. The more Tesla products you own, the more value the phone provides. That's not manipulation, that's smart design. It's also exactly how you compete with giants like Apple and Google. You don't beat them by copying their products, you beat them by offering something they can't. 6. The Apple-Google Stranglehold for over a decade, Apple and Google have controlled the smartphone industry. iOS and Android are the only operating systems that matter. Every phone runs one or the other. Every app developer builds for one or the other. It's a duopoly so complete that alternatives barely exist. Microsoft tried with Windows Phone. It failed. Amazon tried with the Fire Phone. It failed spectacularly. Even companies with massive resources couldn't break through. So why would Tesla succeed? Because Tesla isn't trying to replicate iOS or Android, it's building something different. A phone that doesn't rely on traditional carriers. A phone integrated with cars, energy systems, and satellite internet. A phone aimed at people who already trust the Tesla brand. Apple and Google's stranglehold exists because they control distribution, app ecosystems, and developer loyalty. But those advantages matter less if Tesla offers features neither company can match. Starlink connectivity alone would differentiate a Tesla phone in a way no iPhone or Pixel ever could. And Musk's fan base is large, loyal, and willing to take risks on new products. That's a built-in customer base Apple and Google can't ignore. 7. Can Tesla actually build a phone? Building a smartphone isn't easy. It requires hardware expertise, software development, supply chain management, and regulatory approval across dozens of countries. But Tesla already does all of that. They build complex electronics for vehicles, design custom chips for autonomous driving, and manufacture batteries at scale. A smartphone is less complex than a car. Tesla has proven they can manufacture physical products at scale. They produce hundreds of thousands of vehicles every year, each packed with computers, sensors, and custom hardware. A phone is smaller, simpler, and cheaper to produce. The software would be trickier. Tesla would need a custom operating system, app ecosystem, and developer support, but they wouldn't have to start from scratch. They could fork Android, just like Amazon did with Fire OS, modify it, optimize it for their hardware, and pre-install Tesla apps. That gives them a functional OS without reinventing the wheel. As for apps, if the phone works with Tesla cars and Starlink, early adopters would buy it regardless of app availability. And once there's a user base, developers will follow. 
Tesla has the resources, the technology, and the motivation. Whether they actually do it depends on strategic priorities, but they absolutely could. 8. The Telecom Industry's Nightmare Scenario If Tesla launches a phone with Starlink integration, telecom companies face an existential threat. Their entire business model depends on infrastructure. Towers, cables, spectrum licenses, all of it costs billions to build and maintain. A phone that bypasses all of that would render traditional carriers obsolete. Imagine millions of customers canceling their Verizon or AT&T plans because their Tesla phone works everywhere without a carrier. That's not hypothetical. That's a real possibility. Telecom companies would have to respond, likely by lowering prices, improving coverage, or forming partnerships with satellite providers. But even then, they'd be playing catch-up. Tesla and SpaceX have a head start with Starlink. The satellites are already in orbit. The technology already works. Carriers would have to invest years and billions to compete. And they'd be competing with a company that doesn't need to make profit from the phone itself. Tesla could sell the phone at cost and make money from ecosystem integration, just like Amazon does with Kindle. This scenario keeps telecom executives awake at night because it's not just possible, it's plausible. 9. Neuralink and Future Tech Looking further ahead, a Tesla phone could integrate with Neuralink, Musk's brain-computer interface company. That sounds like science fiction, but Neuralink has already demonstrated functional implants in humans. Patients with paralysis have controlled computers using only their thoughts. Now imagine controlling your phone the same way. No touch, no voice commands, just thought. You think about sending a message, and it happens. You imagine a destination, and your Tesla starts navigating. That's the long-term vision. And while it's years away from mainstream adoption, Tesla has a habit of turning future tech into reality faster than expected. The phone could also feature advanced AI integration, leveraging Tesla's experience with autonomous driving. Imagine an AI assistant that understands context, predicts your needs, and controls your devices proactively. Not a chatbot, but a true digital assistant. These features wouldn't launch day one, but they represent where Tesla could take the platform. And that future potential is part of the appeal. A Tesla phone isn't guaranteed, but it's no longer just a rumor. The technology exists, the motivation is clear, and the impact would be massive. Whether it happens depends on timing, priorities, and competition, but if it does, the entire tech industry will feel it.